keep you updated on the capital and financial markets, here is a recap of what happened. The recent decision by the Ministry of Finance to grant exemptions from capital gains tax and foreign sourced income tax for the unit trust industry has been welcomed as a boost for Malaysia's investment landscape. In this exclusive interview, Kalion Leong, CEO of Federation of Investment Managers Malaysia, provides insightful commentary on how these tax exemptions will benefit over 13 million unit trust investors, especially those approaching retirement age. He explains the pivotal role unit trusts have played in democratizing investing since the 1990s, fostering inclusivity and accessibility across income segments. Kalion also shares his perspective on how the exemptions will positively influence short- and long-term capital market trends, support economic recovery post-pandemic and enable savvy investors to optimize their retirement nest eggs. Overall, this decision cements Unit Trust as a reputable investment vehicle, providing Malaysian investors with an affordable path to grow their wealth tax-free. Thailand's securities regulator has given asset managers the green light to launch private funds that invest in spot Bitcoin exchange-traded funds, and restricted them to institutional investors and ultra-high net worth individuals with at least 50 million baht of total assets. The Securities and Exchange Commission, Thailand made the decision after a board meeting on 13 March, Pornanong Budsaratragoon, Secretary General of the Regulator, says in a statement issued the day after the meeting. The move comes at a time when the price of Bitcoin has surged to new highs. On 5 March, it erased the US$64,400 record set in November 2021 to trade at around US$66,000 and days later, set another new high of US$73,835. At the time of writing, Bitcoin was trading at around US$68,341. The Securities Commission is urging companies to embrace cutting-edge technologies such as blockchain and artificial intelligence. SC Chairman Daytuk Seri Dr. Awang Adekhasin emphasized the importance of Malaysia staying at the forefront of innovation to maintain a competitive edge in the global market. Change is inevitable, and it's our collective responsibility to embrace it with open arms, driving forward towards a more resilient and inclusive future," he said in his speech during a recent dialogue session on emerging technologies in the capital market. Exempting foreign-sourced income on unit trusts from the capital gains tax will boost the performance of the capital market, the Diwan Reykjavik was told. Deputy Finance Minister Lim Hui Ying said the exemption would reduce the projected revenue of 800 million ringgit per year from CGT. The new tax regime was announced by the government last year. But, the government believes that exempting unit trusts from CGT will enhance the performance of the capital market, benefiting more than 90% of individual investors in the industry. This exemption also aims to ensure that unit trusts remain an attractive investment option and accessible to the public. Furthermore, they provide greater returns to individual investors, many of whom are in the pre-retirement and early retirement groups, she said. India's markets regulator has asked the country's asset managers to stop inflows into schemes that invest in overseas exchange-traded funds from the 1st of April according to a document seen by Reuters. The Association of Mutual Funds in India sent out an email to asset managers late on Wednesday informing then of the directive. The email did not give a reason. India imposes a limit of 1 billion US dollars on mutual funds to invest in overseas ETFs. Public disclosures show that Indian mutual funds are close to breaching that limit. The latest e-zine is now available for download at FIMM's official website. Download your copy today to keep up to date with what's going on in the industry. This has been the FIMM TV Weekly Recap. Be informed, stay updated. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.